Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I know I don't normally start on the load screen, but I have a couple things to mention before we get going. One, the reason we're starting here is because there's a good like two minutes of cutscene about to happen, so I wanted to talk about some things before I let them play. Two, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but they're doing construction on my apartment building. Theoretically, it's renovating the underground parking garage, which is five floors below me but it's really like someone is drilling into the wall in the next room. I tested it on the recording a bit. It's not, it's just kind of background noise. So the my commentary will be a little, the sound quality won't be as good because I won't be able to take out all of the background noise like I normally do. Um, actually, I think that was it. Cutscene, the background noise. Also, but having a lot of game stability issues today, this game does not want to record for some reason, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make a go. <laughs> I apologize in advance. We're just gonna make a go of this. We'd like to restart with this file. We're gonna watch the previously on this investigation cutscene, which we don't do very often, but it's the beginning of a new chapter. And so we want to see the recap. We're gonna watch this act previously view. Previously during the investigation. I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, I, uh, no. I, uh... When I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. I still can't believe George cut her down. Like, George is the reason Becky's dead. Oh, please, no! You got us good this time, Zach. I'm not convinced. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was she was totally depressed about something. About Quinn's something for her to let us know she was Maybe her best friend work. getting murdered? She must have been totally oh, well. in shock, the poor thing. At least Lily here understands. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hun. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. Well, that you told wouldn't have prevented her death. Between your children but okay. Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it... The music here is way too happy for this kind of situation. This size, which they said was very important. That's it. It's supposed to be a locket. She put it in a huge effing box. Where are the boys? Mind you, it made a big mark on they Anna's palm. With Mr. So it's Kaysen. probably a big they locket. They were going I don't to visit know. That seems kind of strange. Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk. That dog of his. Greenvale Forest Park. Kason. Huh. You know him well. Oh yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us so, gifts from his So I've already played this part the because the game him. crashed. So we let him take them out every once in a while. And it wasn't Greenville Forest you know, Park. For a little quality time it was the community the center. <laughs> okay, I understand. But the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. So they let their kids go to the forest with a traveling salesman. I have a feeling these people don't actually want children. <laughs> They're doing a good job of getting theirs sent away. All right. Can of pickles. Sell pickles in a tin can. That's so weird. All right. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. Greenvale Forest Park. And the game froze again. Oh my God. I was just about to save and everything. All right. I'll be back. Oh my God. Okay, I've been trying to get the game to record again or even run for almost an hour. But here we are with Emily. We're going to the community center this time and not the forest park. 
because I had to reload and you you understand. Let's get in the effing car. And today we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're we're not lost. lost. We're, the we're not lost, lost either. We know where they are. So we are, Emily. Zach, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. We're not getting lost. You sure know how to take your time at a time like how this. How are we taking our time? We just got in the car. Okay, so we need to go to the community center. Let's visit our good friend, the map. I cannot tell you how close I was to rage quitting everything. Okay, that's where we want to go. What's the? That's not the best way to get here from there. From here. Okay, this road here was by the gas station. Okay, go by the gas station. Go across the bridge. Go by the gas station. Go across the bridge. That's. Well, we're gonna start with that. We know me and complicated driving instructions don't often work out. Oh, well, we need to stop and get gas, though. Look at our... We're only at 49%. Oh, I don't know what it is with this game being super unstable today. I've been having a hard time with it recording. The audio and video get out of sync. I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right. I know. But... Oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. Oh, he's being nice. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? Uh, what do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such she's not a... Gonna, she's not going to be nice to us here. Say this. Such an obvious answer. I thought you'd say something else. Like what? Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still... Come on, have this conversation I... faster. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about... Justice. Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? Then again, death makes everything... Stop talking so we can get gas. <laughs> I have no patience for this game right now. Oh, it's the dude! Oh, thank God. I wonder if that's because we have Emily in the car. Fill her up. Oh, gross. We can bribe him? Let's bribe him! I didn't even know that Jack, was a thing. the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. View list. Oh. We have to give him a thousand dollars? Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? I'll tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> Did you see that? I was about beating someone's dart score. Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't yeah, here. Yeah, he talks to the money. What was all about? Did it make sense to you? Nothing about this game makes sense to me. Zero, literally zero. Let's get out of the car. Oh, Emily's gonna get all pissy. Stay there. No. Oh, I'm sorry. 
is there something you Yes, I want that agent honor behind you. Can you grab it for me? Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm going to go ahead. Two okay? seconds. I need to pick up the agent honor, okay, that get gas, be and then well, we're going to go. over to the place that Lily mentioned. The community center. Don't take too long before you catch up, okay? You're going to walk there again. You just give me two effing seconds. Uh, look, that's what I wanted. Skip the stupid cutscene. Now I need gas. Where's the sparkle? I need gas. There it is. I know it's not actually a sparkle, but... Everything else in this game is a sparkle when you have to do something. I'm not giving him another hundred dollars. Oh, maybe just in the first act or the, the last episode or whatever they're calling them. Yeah, I know. Don't. That's gross. Yes, I'm sure. Every time the screen goes black, I panic that it's crashed. He called me a crab head. Go away. I don't want to watch you walk. I love to see you leave. And I love for you to go. Because it means you are not with me. Just turn. <laughs> I think today's episode is going to be called Short Tempered. I <laughs> mean, um, good news. The construction noises seem to have stopped. Which is excellent. Because, oh my god. Well, first world problems. So, Zach. This case turned into a multiple homicide. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Frame rate's a little janky. Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? That's spelled wrong. Copycat crime? Cannablastic. related Cannibalistic? Cannablastic. From the Bureau's statistics. These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words. Phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere one percent of all cases. Only Why is it so janky? You understand all this, right, Zach? No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is uh, always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? That's probably true, Most actually. Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. I think this is the turn we have to take. Yep. I'm actually starting to remember the map. So, going up to the community center to talk to Forrest Kaysen, who has run off with Isaac and Isaiah. I mean, he hasn't actually run off with them, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what's happening with the stuttering. It makes me concerned for the health of the video footage. <laughs> but we'll see. I have a bunch of tricks up my sleeve to sort it out. There will be an episode. Mind you, if you're watching this, you know that because guess what had happened? So, I suppose it's not surprising you at all. I've decided because there's no penalty for dangerous driving, we're gonna do it. Oh wait, off. <laughs> Or we'll get stuck between a lamppost and a tree. I mean, that's fine too. Before we talk to Forrest, Kaysen, and Isaac and Isaiah, we're gonna save. Avoid, no! I wanted to save. Shit. There's Emily. Agent York, I found Isaac and Isaiah. Really? They're over there. They're right there. Let's go. And Willie and Forrest Casey. Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. Very clever. So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me another special secret with Becky? 
No, we can't. It won't if you can't hear your talking, I neither can I. I'm not telling. The music is too loud and the game volume is too quiet. It's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Ben. A promise to catch the bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? These kids weird me out a little. More than a little. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. There you go. And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. Smart of them. So Becky did entrust the locket to them. Yep. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? What? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, huh. but, but I was only chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, Oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me. Except for you were there. Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. Now you can't leave I'm town. You can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? Yeah, I can. This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. I'm Which the FBI. Humpty Dumpty. That wasn't oh, nice! Uh, Isaac and Isaiah. Fat shaming Forrest Kaysen. I don't like him I either, think but. I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? Oh my she? god, you have to be the one to tell She'll them they died. play with us again, won't she? Poor York has to be the one to tell them that they died. Becky. She died. Uh, that's right. Um. Becky is almost totally better now. Emily. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the oh, forest. Oh, okay. Just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool. We'll keep this a secret then, too. That's okay. Wow. That's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. That was a good way to break it to them. Okay, okay, Willie. I like I I agree with that, Emily. You're happy too, aren't you? Zach, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess. Oh too. god, I hope not. Oh my god, that thought never occurred to me until just now. And if it happens, I'll be very sad. Okay then, Zach. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. I feel like she was this whole episode is going to be cutscene, and for that I apologize. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was? The art gallery. That's right. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. It's like a quiz. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct, and he is heavily involved in this case. Uh, but we have no conclusive yeah. evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure 
is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. That's currently true. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone well, means nothing. At the moment, he has no alibi. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Quint. That's right. It was Quint. Yeah, I was going to say, boyfriend. I'm pretty sure he's Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. Did we? A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood. Then an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of the We hospital. found her tongue? From the similarities, one can deduce that or Anna's just killer we know that it was Becky. bitten off. We also found one other important piece of evidence. It's a notebook, maybe? Can you remember what that was, Zach? Oh, it was the sketchbook. That's right. Yeah. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. I had a letter to she Diane, had yeah. She written a letter to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So, Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. was Becky. It was Becky all along! There was something else at the end of the letter. The locket it thing? Said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel oh, shoes. Oh, that's what's in the box, the shoes. I forgot about that. Who's that? Isaac and Isaiah. Because we literally just did this. That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Kaysen just happened to be there. Is Kaysen involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? I feel like the fact that he carries around a red tree sapling means he's involved I in this. What's so special about the locket, too? Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records, and his call definitely came from her house. Does he have an alibi for Anna, though? Becky and then called us from the scene. But everyone is suspicious one way or another. What should We're we not even next? sure that we didn't do it. Okay, who's the most suspicious? Right now, Nick. Oh, I have to pick. Right now, it's Nick. No, I don't think so. Really? He's certainly suspicious, but there is someone else at the center. Well, Quint then? No. no Why is the Diane? He's certainly suspicious, but there is someone else at the center. I don't understand. Why is Diane the most suspicious? Becky's sister and Carol's enemy linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. Will we? All right, then. Oh. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. Well, that know. you don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. He apparently doesn't know how to stake something ball, out. You let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. What about Thomas? Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. That's right, because he works there anyway, so yes. why not? Yes, I will. Makes sense. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. 
Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. 10 and 11? Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Hmm. This game has such weird pacing, you know that? Like... And it saved. We're gonna keep going for a moment and see what happens. Normally I would cut the episode off there, but we've done literally nothing. We've watched a bunch of cutscenes for the last half an hour. <laughs> And here's another one! Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. Can we? It's 2030. How far away is the diner again? Not far at all. Let's go to the diner and see how they're doing. We're also gonna save. Ooh, this car feels extra floaty. Yes, we're getting out of the car in the middle of the street. Zach, is there something here yes. that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. We're free until We then. got lots of time, you're fine. Yes. You know what? I am actually going to leave this one here because we don't know what's going to happen at the diner and I kind of don't want to get into it right now. You know what I mean? We're Episodes are a certain length, and I don't want to make it a bajillion hours long just because we happened to go to the diner by accident. This one has been really strange, and I'm sorry, but we got a lot of cutscenes out of the way. Next time we'll theoretically actually have gameplay. Hey, Greenvale is in Washington. There's the zip code. Things we noticed. All right, thank you very much for watching. My name is Wench Fairy. This has been a very cutscene-heavy episode of Deadly Premonition, and I hope to see you next time.